What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to be checking out the Transformers Rise of the Beasts, Optimus Primal and Skull Cruncher Beast Combiner 2 Pack. Now this is the first time I'm checking out one of these on the channel and I'm quite interested to see as to how exactly this is going to go down because as far as I can tell, Primal in a nutshell is going to skin Skull Cruncher alive and pretty much slap his pieces on top of himself. So a little dark from a storytelling perspective and considering Skull Cruncher is still a Decepticon, I I don't think he's going to take too lightly to that decision, but as we check out the packaging, you know, we get Primal, we get Skull Cruncher. I'm quite interested to see as to whether or not as the line progresses, you can use some of these Beast Companions with other characters. So I wonder if you can use Skull Cruncher with Bumblebee and Snarl Saber with Optimus Primal. I guess only time will tell, but there we have the whole combining piece, smack bang in center. We get a really cool image there of Optimus Primal fiercely beating his chest in the jungles of Peru. And as we come around to the back, we get a fairly skinny looking Optimus Primal. So, you know, maybe he's not been too successful hunting in the jungle which is why skull crunch has come along and there we get him in the alligator or crocodile mode could never really tell the difference between the two so for the sake of awesomeness i'm going to call him an alligator because i think that sounds way more badass than crocodile and there we get a larger image of the whole combining gimmick so let's crack this open i don't expect too much from these because this is a part of the movie line but still looking to be a pretty interesting concept now we're going to start off with Optimus Primal because you would expect this to be the best out of the two. I mean, this is the character which is going to appear in the movie, but my goodness me, this thing is an absolute monstrosity. I didn't realize until I cracked this bad boy out of the box just how massive those arms are. I mean, if you compare the arms to the size of the legs, it's ridiculous. The proportions have literally been chucked straight out of the window, but you know, we're here for the combining gimmick, so I'm hoping Skull Crunch is going to be able to save this guy later down the line, but... As we take a look at the face, I mean, the strangeness just continues. Why Primal has this completely painted blue face just looks ridiculous. And then when you flip him to the back, why is this brown? It literally sticks out like such a sore thumb because the rest of the figure and pretty much any of the other Optimus Primal releases have all been done in this nice kind of dark gray. So yeah, looking really peculiar, but some of the detail looks decent, such as the chest. We get that kind of Primal arc reactor smack bang in center and all the tubing details. So that's kind of cool very hollow cheap looking arms you know that does suck I'm not gonna lie and when you take into account just how massive they are wow that is so ugly guys but as we work our way through the legs I mean they look okay sadly they were too stingy to give us a rotation at the foot so the robot mode feet are permanently stuck as the heel spurs which kind of sucks and then we get these massive gaping holes for the back of the legs but I think that's mainly due to the way this guy transforms now articulation wise nothing out of the head at all it's literally a brick we do get ball joint for the shoulders surprisingly quite stiff and they can go out to the sides but no elbow joints and Hasbro come on guys you're having a laugh this could have been the first triple jointed elbow ever because there is way enough room to get like three different hinge joints packed into that so yeah that kind of sucks nothing out of the waist the hips can kick forwards that far back out to the side we do get single jointed knees but can bend slightly past 90 and due to transformation the foot can pivot forwards and backwards so yeah, unfortunately, this Optimus Primal really doesn't have a lot going for it. I think if you want a Primal of this scale, then go with the Weaponizer because I actually think it's a little better, I'm not going to lie. Now, we're going to save the size comparisons for the later half of the video. Let's get stuck into Transformation Primal Maximize. So, to start things off with, you pull the head forward, rotate the chest unit around, smack it back into place, pull the arms forwards, then bend here at the knee, fold at the toe, bend at the hip, do the same here for this side, and bang! That is Optimus Primal in his ape mode. And the monstrosity just continues. I mean, this thing just looks so bad. I'm sorry, it doesn't look great. I mean, this weird squatting pose is not doing it any favors either, but I will say the detail for the head is okay doesn't look too bad it does just look a little strange that he has the blue prime ears kind of sticking out of the top so yeah it's a bit peculiar but yeah nice mechanical detail i do like the ape chest you know that's really sweet we get these kind of dark gray mechanized panels so that's kind of cool but yeah to be fair not too much going on here for the ape mode at all so let's just get this guy back into the robot mode very simple again you know literally just fold down the legs and the arms and then take this piece pull it forwards and there is a lanky primal back in his robot mode 
But we still have one other figure to check out and it's Skull Cruncher. And despite this guy apparently not appearing in the movie, I found myself to like him way more than Primal. And you know, we've got this figure. There's also a Battle Master set to be released. I'm still holding out hope that he'll show up in some way, shape or form in the movie because how badass would it be to see a live action Decepticon alligator? That would just win Rise of the Beast for me. If we see this guy in the movie, I'm gonna lose my sh So yeah, let's check out his details. I like the kind of scaly mechanical panels that we have. I really like the armor we have for the nose, but unfortunately this is for kind of a crude gimmick, which I'll showcase in just a second. And all the way through the top, that looks kind of cool, even here for the alligator tail. But as we flip him to the underside, Bayverse Prime has been in and done his job because he's completely gutted the poor sod. He's so hollow, there's no substance to him at all because we're about to smack the skin of this guy onto Primal. But before we do that, we'll very quickly talk articulation. So unfortunately, nothing out of the jaw. I mean, it would have been so awesome to have opened and closed that. But due to the way he combines, we do get a hinge joint, which can only look left. It can't look right due to the way it works. But yeah, that's not too bad. There are ball joints here for all four of the legs so that's kind of neat and then unfortunately nothing out of the tail but let's combine the two so what you're going to want to do is take primal's head and smack it into the guts of old skull cruncher and then these big tabs are going to smack themselves into those ports so fuse them <laughs> then what you're going to want to do is flip up the alligator legs and because they're on ball joints to be fair guys you could move them around in any way that you'd want but probably the coolest part about this and look at him primal's wearing skull cruncher's skin as some kind of trophy in true Bayverse fashion. Look at him. He's wearing the corpse of the Decepticon. But anyhow, you're going to want to come up here to the top, take this piece, bring it forwards, and this whole piece kind of auto morphs into place. So you're going to want to snap this into the chest piece and bang! There we have Optimus Primal and Skull Cruncher combined. And this is one of the most ridiculous figures I've ever reviewed, but it's actually kind of awesome. I really do like this gimmick. I'm excited to see how it will progress later down the line. Line. But in terms of detail, you know, it's basically an Optimus Primal face with a skull cruncher head placed on top because you can kind of see the alligator teeth around the primal mouthpiece. And then obviously you've got all of this scaly texture at the top. Again, you know, very nutty looking in terms of the way it looks. And we can kind of neaten this up a bit by folding all of this out. So... Yeah, I think design-wise it looks kind of cool, but it doesn't end there because just to further destroy Skull Cruncher's corpse, you can rip his tail clean off and create a kind of sword for Primal. And in true Bayverse Prime fashion, you can tell him to give me your face and literally rip the poor guy's face clean off and turn it into a shield, which we can smack here onto the side. And that armor was not meant for Skull Cruncher; it was meant for Primal. So, yeah, poor old Skull Cruncher was merely just used for parts, much like Jet fire and revenge of the fallen i guess but in terms of the articulation you know we get the same as we saw in the bot mode but depending on how you articulate the arm because the alligator head too can move it kind of makes it look like he has a fusion cannon so i thought that was kind of sweet and it is blast effect compatible to an extent so whilst you can slide this over the top it'll always be at a slight angle but considering he's got no face to be fair it's quite a miracle that this poor old sod can still fire anyway so yeah that is the combining gimmick and then to go back you just snap the alligator head there what you will then do is take this whole assembly and it will quite literally snap into place which is kind of fitting for an alligator i guess you could say but yeah snap it in make sure these legs here are out of the way and then just snap that over the top literally rip him clean off of primal and then we can just reattach all of these pieces on top to create a perfect reformed reformatted i guess i should say version of skull cruncher now, as we check out a few comparisons, here we have the Combiner Optimus Primal alongside the Weaponizer version. Now, both of these have released in the first wave of movie line figures, and I have no idea what went on when they put this guy together, because for a mainline Primal, this one was actually really cool in comparison. It would have been awesome had they just retooled the top of the shoulders to combine with Skull Cruncher, because I think this is a way better figure. I mean, the proportions are better, the articulation is better, the colors are better on Weaponizer Primal than they are here on Combiner Primal, so... Yeah, really bizarre choices here. And then for a few other comparisons, here we have him next to the Weaponizer Optimus Prime, Studio Series Deluxe Class Air Razor, Movie Line Cheetor, and then maximizing them both into their beast modes. Again, they look like completely different characters. I will say in its defense, it's kind of cool that you can get this Primal in kind of a quad pose, whereas sadly you couldn't hear with Weaponizer Primal, but that still doesn't detract from the fact that it looks so strange looking. I mean, it really is such a hideous looking 
Primal, but had a pretty decent face sculpt, not gonna lie. And then just for a very quick comparison with Skull Cruncher and the Studio Series Air Razor, in terms of the head to tail, it is a massive figure. I mean, I think if it was released individually and it had a robot mode, it would probably classify as a deluxe class because yeah, that is a beastly sized beast mode. And I'm so hoping these two can go head to head in combat in the movie. Please Skull Cruncher, make your appearance in Transformers Rise of the Beasts. But yeah, you know what? If you want to plonk him alongside some of your Studio Series figures, I don't think he looks too bad at all. And then for one final comparison, here we have him in the combined mode alongside Studio Series Air Razor and Voyager Class Battle Trap. And wrapping up on this review for the Rise of the Beast, Beast Combiner, Optimus Primal, and Skull Cruncher. Overall, I mean, it's definitely one of the most bonkers sets I think I've ever reviewed over on the channel. I mean, in terms of the standalone Optimus Primal figure, it's not great, is it, guys? But to be fair, it's not going to be, because this is a movie line figure, and it's supposed to be kind of gimmick orientated. So, you know, I guess in some ways I have to let it slide. It does have some decent details, but yeah, the lanky proportions in the arms are just well strange, especially when you compare it next to the weaponizer version which is the same scale and has been released in the first wave but anyway I think Skull Cruncher is great you know it's definitely the saving grace about the set and I do like how you can combine him with Optimus Primal I mean that will definitely be how I'll be displaying these guys together because I think combined they look sick with each other and like I said it'll be quite interesting to see if I can take the Skull Cruncher armor and place it on some of the other two-pack combiners that are set to be released such as I think it's Bumblebee and Snarl Saber and there's also an RC who I'm not sure who she comes with but I it's kind of a white wolf, I think. But yeah, this was quite a fun set. I think it retails in the US for about $20. Here in the UK, they retail for about 20 quid, which is what you'd expect from an old deluxe class. I mean, yeah, I can see that. I mean, the plastic is definitely there. You get two decently sized figures whilst Primal's a little hollow. I think Skull Cruncher makes up the most of the mass. So it's pretty fun for those of you who are into these kind of gimmick oriented figures. And if you've got a younger collector that wants something a little more simplistic in terms of a conversion, then I think this one will be a pretty fun pickup. I'd love to get your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you guys think of this? Would you like me to continue these combiner two pack reviews? And until my next video, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.